And when we speak to the statements of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, well then he states about himself, in the to Juwamul Kalam, I have been granted laconic speech. I have been granted the ability to say a few words that are expansive in their meanings. And perhaps with the short time that we have, we wanted to present an example of this that is near to all of us and something that we are all familiar with. We see an excellent example of the laconic speech of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a work that has been compiled by Imam al nawawi may Allah the exalted but so expansive mercy upon his soul, in the work that is entitled al arbaun al Nawawiyah, in a work that is entitled the 40 Hadith of al nawawi This is a work that it is comprised of 42 Hadith, and with the additions added, eight more by Ibn Rajab, it becomes 50 in whole. And the purpose in, in Imam al nawawi rahimahullah, compiling this work, he was attempting to gather in one place the ahadith, the prophetic traditions, that if you have them, they are sufficient for you to practice the entire of your religion. So that whatever scenario you find yourself in life, you can take a hadith, a prophetic tradition from this work and apply it to your situation. So that when you meet your Lord on the day of resurrection and you are questioned about your deeds, you can say, I performed this action. I made this decision because of this hadith, because of this prophetic tradition on your messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. From some examples of this, he states, ma yuribuka ila ma la yuribuka. Leave off that which you doubt for that which you do not doubt. He states, من حسن إسلام المر تركوا ما لا يعني from the perfection of a person's Islam is leaving off that which does not concern him. He states, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه None of you will have faith, true faith until you love for your brother or your sister that which you love for yourself. On an occasion, an individual comes to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he mentions He states to him, O Messenger of Allah, the laws of Islam, these legislations, they, they become so, so much for me. So is there some way that I can adhere to all of it in entirety? He simply says to him, Keep your tongue moist with the remembrance of Allah, the mighty and the majestic. Just like that. A few words, meaning expansive. You do this, you keep your tongue moist with the remembrance of Allah. It will give you the iman and give you the strength to be able to practice the laws of Islam.